It's Thursday. Ready to solve a puzzle? I know I am. Let's take a look, shall we? It's the New York Times crossword puzzle. Ready to start solving? Why, yes, I am. Eshadada apparently is the constructor. Steve apparently is the solver. Well, I usually am. This is Solve with Steve. Been doing this for a little while now. Having fun with it. Gonna have fun with this one. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's solve this puzzle. Okay. Semi-liquid stuff. Gel, goo, I don't know, South Asian, Desi, darling, I don't know, dear, sherry, prefix with science, could be anything. Ugly Duckling's mother was a swan. That's why the Ugly Duckling was actually a swan. Site of World War battle that saved Paris from capture. I don't know the details of World War One. I'm not good at that. Chili ingredients. Oh, and we have a, okay, off-used phrase using Zoom meetings. Okay, there's the, uh, the uh, revealer. Okay, spring forward, daylight savings time. R Logan Roy, is it Ewan? I don't know succession, but uh, it seems like it's a first name. The cruiser was set in Salem at the Salem Witch Trials. Uh, stamping need, stamping need, in, in seam, inset, in, I don't know. Chili ingredients are, that's probably an S, right? I don't know. Uh, chili ingredients, beans. Um, I don't know. Only country with non-rectangular flag is Nepal. It's like that, that like diamond, uh, yeah, it's like a, like a thing. Okay, three wise men. It's not magi, is it? Um, in spa, I don't know. Uh, dating app info. How about your age? Aviator Earhart. Amelia Earhart. Amelia, I can't type. There we go. Giving a hand. Applauding. Um, I don't know. Three wise men are magi, magicians? Magi, I don't know. This seems like it's, uh, oh, it is. Off-use phrase during Zoom meetings or misunderstandings. Huh, okay, so we get the early revealer. Misunderstandings. Pass, I don't know. Side of World War Battle, is it Marne? I, I, there's a Battle of the Marne, I don't know. That saved Paris, apparently. Okay, uh, Darling is, I don't know. Grandma to Brits is Nan. Uh, the lead in pencils is actually graphite. Science! Uh, charm and Deer, no. Uh, first Disney song reached the top five in the 21st century. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. A man calls Otto, let it go, let it go, run away and close the door. Okay, giving a hand, something, leaving, I don't care. Three wise men, magic hat? That's like a, a beer brand. What they're going to say. A magnetic flux is a fire is its size. A fire is its eye. Its flux is a, is a, is a phi. No, it's a psi. No, it's a phi. It's a phi. Yeah, it's the, it's the eye with the circle in it. It's a size pitchfork. Okay, pass is an act. Like pass a, uh, pass a law. Uh, charm is enchant. And darling is an angel. Yo, yo, my darling. Yo, my, yo, my angel. Yo, my darling, baby. Closer than my peeps you are to me. Okay, features of spoiled milk is clots. Clotted cream and clotted milk. Uh, giving a hand, healing? No. Dealing. Oh, dealing! Oh, like if you're a deal playing cards, you give somebody a hand, you're dealing. Uh, ink pad, not ins pad. Ink pad is a stamping need. Okay, chili ingredients. Bean talk? I don't know what this is. Okay, ma magic hat. Magi chat. Oh, magi. The three wise men are magi. And then chat is something else. And this has talk. So whatever the chili, beans talk. I get it. Maybe I get it. So beans are in chili. And then talk. So let's think about adding some. Uh, some uh, okay. All right. Bye. See you. See ya. I don't know. Uh, affirmative vote is yes or is it yay? I think it's yay. Ending with power aid. Capital P for power because the brand name. Scorched the surface of is to sear. Uh, a lot is loads. Uh, off use phrase, you're on mute. <laughs> okay. Uh, not sure how that works. Reason for the misunderstandings. Oh, because the talk doesn't, we don't hear the talk and we don't hear the chat. Uh, okay. All right. Drink with foam. I don't know. Painting by Van Gogh during his time in an asylum. I don't know. Uh, part of a newborn's schedule nap. Uh, to be a newborn. How detectives might start their investigation by asking questions, by looking around. Um, I don't know. They they canvassed the neighborhood. Pro golf for Mark O'Meara. Is he still around? I don't know. Frightening Halloween costume is a baboon. No, that's a gibbon. Why am I thinking of of, uh, of <laughs> primates? Uh, semi liquid stuff is ooze. How about that? Uh, frightening Halloween costume. Hmm. Prefix with science omniscience. Ooh bean. Okay, frightening Halloween costume. Ooh baboo. Maybe it's not ooze. I don't know. Drink with foam. Don't know. Painted by Van Gogh. It's not water lilies. Uh, that's the only one I know. <laughs> okay. Z nah, this doesn't look right. This is probably an I. Because in, detectives might start their investigation in a, in a cap. In a, I don't know. Semi-liquid stuff. Okay, if that's not ooze. Ice cream units are pints. Okay. 
Ooh, I don't know if it's that. Oip. Sammy Lucas, I've had a goop. Uh, oh, Goblin is the, is the Halloween costume. On a uh, tip. Oh, Latte has foam. Irises. Oh, it's kind of like a cousin of water lilies. Okay, that, that makes sense. That sounds like a good a good painting. A uh, collection of senior moments is the yearbook. Ha, ha, ha. Senior year in school. Peter was the first actor to play a Bond villain. Peter Laurie was in, I guess, uh, Dr. No, right? Was the first Bond film. Did he play Dr. No? Laptop brand is Acer. Uh, vehicle at the center of the Hindu festival, Rata Yatra. I don't know. Interesting. A vehicle. Uh, like the wagon wheel kind of thing? I don't know. Note after La T. Um, but then it's Thai. Well, re, it's, it's also something. Something, some sort of tire port tire. I don't know. Uh, groovy, fab. The battery terminals, the anode, and the cathode. Science! Parking spot at a bar. I don't know. Carvings for the first man in Maori or Tiki's. Um, or mythology. Okay. Don't wait and add. Act fast. Act now. Chianti with a nice and some fava beans, of course, from the beanstalk. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, do I want to know? Parking spot at a bar is a stool. You sit on a stool. Urges to action. Impels is the word. Uh, a chariot would be a vehicle at the center of the festival. I'm going to look that one up. Note after law is T. Tire mark. Oh, yeah. Remark. Yes. T and then remark makes tire mark, but the remark is silent because it's on mute. Okay, snoops around, uh, pokes around. No, that doesn't look right. Peeps, peaks, necessity. How about pr uh, prize? Okay, because Venetian transport would be like a gondola, and you have the oar, and you sing, Oh, so let me, oh. Okay, um, yoke composition on one's heads and hands is a tripod. Uh, actress nightly is Kira. She spells it like that, I think. Uh, twist is, I don't know, predatory freshwater fish. Is a piranha. Piranha. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Because then I add. No, 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 no. Uh, is it pike? Are those predatory? That makes sense. Pike speak. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hydrox competitor is Oreo. Uh, that's not the song. I just sang it. Beginning is day one. No. Is dawn. Because twist is to skew. And long, long time is an eon. So the beginning is the dawn. Notable lamb owner. Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb. Nom de plume. Little lamb. A call for help. S-O-S. -S. Uh, which I now know is a Rihanna song. Because that was in the... Uh, in the uh, the puzzle recently, and it's uh, okay. Young and the Restless, that's a soap opera, bold and beautiful. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel knocks over is upsies, ups, upsets. Uh, discolor from age is yellow. Uh, Indian tonal drum is a dabla. Uh, let's see. Comes to is awakes. Uh, rum cocktail is a colada, like a pina colada, but just a col generic colada. Even though, albeit, and GPS is guesses. Whoops, are a memory glitch is a lapse. And yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, so I skipped a couple there. Um, GPS's guesses, or memory glitch is a last. GPS's guesses are estimated times of arrival, ETAs. Combo meal choice is a side. You want fries with that? Oh, can I get a salad instead? Okay, uh, <laughs> it's a healthier combo, right? All right, so what we have here, our, our revealer is you're on mute. Off use phrase during Zoom meetings. Yes, I've sometimes been the one on mute. So have you, admit it. All right. Uh, or the reason for the misunderstandings. What kind of misunderstandings are there? The, the uh, words as clued are short, uh, but then we have a synonym for talk that is silent because it is muted, so it goes away. So beanstalk, we have talk, take away the talk. We have beans, chili ingredients are beans. We have magic hat. It's, it is a, a beer brand. It's a... Uh, it's a uh, you know, also, I guess, right, it's the, 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 I never heard it called the magic hat. Like the hat that you pull the rabbit out of is a magician's hat. Is that called a magic hat? I guess it would be a magic hat. So there, that's a good reference too. But anyway, the three wise men in the story of the birth of baby Jesus are the magi, right? Even I know that one. Um, and so the magi, but then we put on chat. Um, although, if you're in Zoom, the chat is actually not spoken out loud. But uh, you get the point. It's close enough. Right? So chat is, is right speaking, and that's that's our mute. So we don't hear that. We don't notice that. We take it away. We have Magi. Then we have here, tire mark. Right? If you skip, uh, you leave tire marks on the on the ground, on the pavement, or tire track. So in this case, the note after law is T, T-I. But we have remark. I like that. We're taking away a lot. And then last but not least, predatory freshwater fish. Apparently is a pike. I knew it was a fish. I didn't know it was freshwater, and I sure as heck didn't know it was predatory. Um, but we take away the word speak, 
and we get Pike speak. So that's pretty good. So beans talk, mag magi chat, uh, T remark, tie remark, and Pike speak. That's pretty good. So uh, I do want to look up a couple. I want to look up the Nepal flag because it's it's cool. It's like red, white, and blue, and it's got like I think circles on it, right? Um, but it's like a, it's like a uh, is it? It's not just a crescent. It's like a it's like a like a staggered crescent kind of thing. I'm gonna look it up. Here we go. Let's go and find the Nepal flag. Nepal Nepali restaurant near me. No Nepali flag. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's like oh, I thought it was sideways. Uh, it's not circles. It's definitely not circles. It's we got a sun and we got uh, the state flag and the civil flag. It's two pennons. It's called a double pennon. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but I, I guess I knew it was roundish, but it's not. Uh, it's not perfectly round. They're not circles. They're. Uh, that was that a sun, and that's like a sun setting inside the moon or something like that. That's kind of cool. Um, what does the white mean on the Paul flag? No, a white moon. Here we go. In the upper segment. Thank you, Britannica. In the upper segment is a white moon emitting eight rays with a crescent attached below. Bottom is a white stylized sun. Oh, wait, these are moon rays, and a crescent. The two symbols are associated with different dynasties and express the hope, ooh, I like that, that's poetic, that the country may have the same longevity as the sun and the moon. I like that a lot. Okay, back to our puzzle. What else did I want to look up? We had, uh, there was something something else I wanted to look up. It was uh, something over here. Not Mark O'Meara. I don't care that much about him. He's a, he's a golfer. Nothing wrong with that. Logan Roy is on succession. Okay, it had to be somebody's first name. Um, Amelia Earhart, another first name. No, that wasn't it at all. What was it? It was a lot of people. Peter Laurie was in there. Um, what was it? What was Nom? Oh, Nom de Plume, yeah. No, it was Kieran Knightley. Well, a lot of people. I didn't realize how many people are in this one. This is, this is a lot of people. Um, we have the, the, uh, the generic colada, not the pina colada, but just a colada. No, what was it? It was something I wanted to look up. If I don't see it, I don't see it. The Battle of the Marne was uh, Marne? Marne? Let's see, does it have a... Uh, not that I know how to pronounce it, but let's, uh, let's see. Uh, Battle of the Marne. First Battle of the Marne. Doesn't seem to have any... Uh, any uh, accents? So there we go. That's a lot of casualties. Holy cow! Two hundred fifty thousand French casualties, two hundred ninety-eight thousand German casualties. Wow, that's trench warfare at its worst, man. Holy cow! The German army invaded France with a plan for winning the war in forty days by occupying Paris and destroying French and British armies, and then they dug in. And look at that: eight days, seven days, and and half a million casualties. And I realize that's not the same as deaths, but still, that's a lot. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of people. Holy cow. All right. Um, hmm. Makes you think. Makes you think. All righty. Um, what was it? What else? What else? There was something else. That I was like, oh, who is that person? And I guess not. I guess not. All right. It wasn't goop. I know what goop means. Uh, this is cute. A prefix with science, but it's not science. It's shunts, omniscience, right? When... Uh, let's see. Was Iris? Oh, the, it was the, the 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 painting. Irises. Let's look up Van Gogh irises. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I realized I, I forget. Did I forget to switch over when I was looking at the Battle of the Marne? I forgot to switch over. Here's the Battle of the Marne. There's the trench warfare. But now we're gonna look up Van Gogh irises in this window. Here we go. Van Van Cleef Van Gogh irises. That looks like a Van Gogh painting. Um, like I'm an expert. <laughs> okay, irises. That's pretty cool. Vase with irises against a yellow. Wait, this is different from that. Irises is one of several paintings of irises. <laughs> and by the Dutch artist Vincent Van Gogh, one of a series of paintings he made at the asylum in the last year before his death. So wait, let's let's look at that one. And here we go. This one is Iris's Les Iris. Okay. His first owner was Julien Per Tangai, Tangai, Tangi, Tangai, a paint grinder and art dealer whose portrait Van Gogh painted three times. 
Wow. A paint grinder. That's pretty cool. 1987, the most expensive painting ever sold. Set a record for two and a half years. $53.9 million to Alan Bond. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right. Um, okay. So that's Irish. That's kind of cool. Let's uh, expand that one. Ooh. I like that. Okay. Anyhow, let's go back to the puzzle. No, let's go back. Yeah, let's go back to the puzzle. And is there anything else I need to look up? I don't think so. So that means we're going to sign off and say, have a wonderful day. Run over the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. I know I did. I had fun doing it. And we'll see if I can come up with a bonus themer. I will do my best to come up with a bonus themer. But if I can't, this one this one might be tough. Uh, I will have, I will continue to have fun with these. And I will see you in the future. And oh yeah, all that good stuff, right? If you want to like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And share. I should really say this earlier because a lot of people, they, they stop watching after the puzzle's over. And I can't blame them. they got stuff to do. Anyhow, all right. <laughs> have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.